Hello everybody, it is the Unbased Gamer here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix an issue that I actually came across when I was playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. So the issue is that we run games through launchers. We do not have the ability to just to play the games that we own. We can't just install it and play it without any form of password or username or email. We must always be giving our information to the overlords of gaming. However, we do require recreation as human beings, so therefore, we must find ways to work around these issues. So, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue of Origin not properly logging in, thus not allowing you to play it. So, I'll show you what I mean in just a second. And might I add that Cyberpunk actually does allow you just to play it without any form of DRM. You can actually just launch it, like even though you can launch it through Steam, you can actually just launch the .exe file, not even the, uh, I don't even believe you actually have to launch the uh, Cyberpunk uh, launcher, you, the red launcher. You can actually just launch Cyberpunk directly without any form of DRM in the way. So here's the demonstration. So I'm going to show you exactly what the problem was. So the problem was I was running into some performance hiccups. It wasn't anything too major, but I also did discover that it seemed that what I did in turn seemed to get rid of those performance hiccups. So it seemed like it worked out in the end. So the issue was that when, and this also can come across like, so say if you're running Proton Experimental or if you're running the current Proton version, which is 0.6, it's like 6.3, I think. So the issue that happens is when you're running Proton 6.3-4, which is the current Proton that's still going through some updates, over Proton Experimental, so it won't be 3-4, it'll be like 3-6 or 7, or maybe 8 within you know the next month or so. And when that happens, the Proton version changes, and the Origin Launcher doesn't necessarily understand that Wine is not a separate computer, but it's just a separate um, emulation. Not really emulation even, because it stands for Wine is not an emulator. But it doesn't understand that it's just a translation layer. So because of this, it will refuse to launch. So what I actually found was our buddy Lutris was able to help us out. The otter here was able to help us. So what I was able to do, and I'll show you the folder directory as well. So this is a lot of information to kind of take in, but bear with me. So I'm going to go to computer, home, Luke, because that's my first name, Steam, root, and you could also go to Debian installation, but I'll just, just go to root. Uh, Steam apps, compatible data, and you'll have to find the Steam ID name. So here's where Origin is. So what will essentially happen is you'll start the game, and now sadly I was not able to get footage of it. Uh, I do have some stuff from a previous video, so if I could actually show that in a demonstration and edit that out for you, I could actually, I would, you know, We'll, I will include that at the end of this video, like the final results, but I can talk you through every part of the process, but sadly I wasn't able to actually get that on video as I was far too frustrated with actually trying to fix it. So basically you'll start up the game and then once the game starts to like go through the process, once you've switched the wine versions, it'll go through like the origin thin setup process. It'll start the whole setup process over again. So what happens is it's essentially overwriting it's overwriting this folder right here. And because of that, your original sign-in is pretty much gone. And because that sign-in is gone, it doesn't know to but it doesn't know to pull that up. Like so your pre the previous information that you entered is not there. So because it has to set it up again, it thinks it's good to go, but it's not. So the way that you would fix that is you would simply uh, create a Lutris script, and that's fairly easy to do. So you would just type in the name of the script, and you can name it whatever you want. We'll call it Origin Fix. Oh, 
Um, don't want to get demonetized. So origin fix two. And you'll select wine as the runner. And then you would want to, um, and I'm not going to actually create the script. I'm just walking you through how to actually create the script itself. It's fairly easy to do, but if you're really new to Linux gaming, then this is how you would do it. So um, you would just name it, and you don't even have to put a release here. Um, it's really just a temporary fix. Um, then you would want to make sure your wine script is uh, selected. You don't necessarily have to do wine tricks or anything like that either. It's just to get it to sign in. So from there, you'll want to browse to the executable. In my case, it's going to be home.steam root steam apps compat data and then for Battlefront 2, the Steam ID is 1237950. That is for anybody that has installed the game. That is the number that is just the Steam ID that you would find in the store. For the to find the Steam ID of any other EA game or any Steam game for that matter, you would actually have to uh, find that on your own. And there is a way to do that, but I'm not going to include it in this video. I'll put it in another video. Um, but then you'll go to the prefix folder, drive C, program files 86, origin. And then here's the here's the uh, folder path that should be similar to what is going to be on your computer, and I can let you pause the video and um, find that for you. So, origin exe is the file that you actually want to run as the executable for the Slutra script. So from there, you would run the script. And in my case, it's already, in my case, it's already signed on. But in your case, it would be, um, it would ask you to sign in. And when you go to sign in, you want to make sure that you check the box to say, keep me signed in, keep me signed in. So. What this is essentially going to do is it signs you in to Origin through the Lutra script, and that exe has a sign-in. And from there, Steam running uh, Proton can now access that already signed-in Origin exe file. Now, in this case, too, I also do want to add, when it comes to running Origin games via Proton or Wine... There is an issue where if you run more than five versions of Proton or Wine, it will give you this error saying too many computers have accessed this game. This is because you cannot have more than five computers accessing a single game at a time for any Origin uh, release. So it thinks that it's a different computer, so it will uh, log you out and say that too many uh, computers have accessed this game, please try again later. And you'll just have to wait the 24 hours in that case. Sorry about that. Um, and we'll go ahead here and uh, Proton 5.13-6. Okay, so we'll go here and I will demonstrate that running through this fix is ultimately what made it work. Uh, to actually get this game up and running again. As you can see, Origin can now sign in. Now I'll go ahead and adjust that camera now. Okay. As you can see, Origin can now sign in again and can actually launch the game because it all it's doing is essentially saying, yes, launch the game. Steam is accessing Origin. So essentially, Steam accesses Origin, and then Origin's running under uh, Steam play to say, yes, I want to access the game. So now, as you can see, we can launch the game again. Hey, Theo!
sorry about that guys, I am dog tired.